Welcome back to Hedge Apple Acres. I'm Cal, and in today's video we're going to talk about trail cams. Before we get started about trail cams, if you're new to my channel, be sure and hit the subscribe button below. Also, click on the notification bell if you'd like an email each time I release a video. Trail cams. The other day I was at my brother's and he's talking about his neighbor sending all this footage of video around his property. And that got me thinking, you know, some security cameras around the farm would be nice. Not only for the security aspect, but just to see what's happening around the farm when I'm not out there. So I looked, and while I'm looking, I always lean to 4K, 4K material or 4K devices because 4K is coming whether or not we want to or not. And when I looked at security cameras that are 4K and considered running uh, cabling to them or setting up a wireless bridge or something, all those seemed more expensive than I was interested in at the time. So I changed my focus to trail cams. So when I say trail cam, it's a video you can place somewhere. Most of them have night vision and um, varying qualities of video. They can do pictures, but you place them somewhere. They use some kind of storage medium and you go get that storage device, which in this case is a SD card from the trail cam, bring it and plug it into your computer. So you don't have real time monitoring. You can't just pull it up on your computer. However, what I've been doing, I go set it up and the next morning or afternoon, I go out and pull the, the SD card out. I don't have extra SD cards, but I will get them. When I do that, I'll pull it out and put a different one in. Of course, I've been moving the, the cameras around the farm some. Um, let's talk about what I got. I got eight-man 4K trail cameras, cameras. They are 30 megapixel resolution with 4K video. They have a very quick trigger, like 0.2 seconds when they see movement, they trigger. And I'll be honest, in watching my videos, I wish that was a little faster but that's still pretty quick and then it does do night vision and it'll do it all in 4k I purchased these off Amazon about $80 they come with the I'll toss that down they come with the with the strap for hooking it in it's a waterproof case You got your infrared lights, here's your motion trigger. You, can, you have a display so when you're setting it up, you can look at, you can see what it's gonna look at. There's a test on the toggle here and the SD card goes here. Ah. One thing with SD cards, this model suggests 32 gigabytes. In fact, that's the maximum for it. Of course, in my overachieving self, I ordered 128 gigabyte hard, uh, SD cards and it can't read them. However, I reformatted those to fat and got them where they'd work with this device. I do plan on buying some 32 gigabyte drives just dedicated to this. And then those other SD cards will be really nice for me later on. It takes eight AA batteries. Let's see if I can get this closed up. Eight AA batteries. On the bottom here, I purchased rechargeable ones just because I suspected it would go through a lot of batteries. I've set it up nightly and left it running overnight and sometimes close to 24 hours for a week off and on and my battery percent's not bad yet. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I've been impressed with the battery life. My biggest concern was I leave it on 24 hours and I'd go back and the batteries were dead. That's not been the case. The biggest issue I've had is that with this clasp on the strap, the strap's nice, it goes around the pole, and it feeds into the strap, into the clasp or clamp here.
and then you push it down and it it holds it in place <coughs> holds it in place numerous times this has been popped loose by an animal so usually on the extra I try and wrap over it um, overall I'm happy with the camera I'm gonna show you some videos that I've taken with it so you know what they look like um, after we show you what's in the box So in the box you get the camera, you got the strap, you got uh, the necessary cables to connect it, as well as some mounting hardware. On the mounting hardware front, I went ahead and purchased this little mount that goes on a t-post to hold it which thus far has worked good I, I wish it was a little bit tighter but it seems to be doing good um, in the times I've used it to be honest I've not used the t-post clamp with animals yet I don't know how much pressure the goats would put on this you can see the goats are always curious about what's going on and I'm afraid if I had this in their pasture they might lick on it and stuff so I haven't tried it there I've tried it in different places where they don't have access and I'm happy with it thus far on the videos I got lots of videos of animals moving the sheep cattle Goats. Even a peahen with her chicks. And a cottontail decides to lay down in the middle and just stretch out there. Sadly, in my, my, in my videos, I have an animal taking it off a tree. I found my camera about 30 feet from the tree on the ground. Then the cattle are always interested in it. And of course, the goats are interested. Overall, I'm happy with them. I will, in the future, probably look at some security cameras that I can wire in so I can monitor real time. But for right now, these are great. I plan on putting them up by a pond where I have some beaver activity, see what I can capture there. Um, I've enjoyed seeing, I put it up next to our Advantage feeder or three-in-one feeder to see what kind of activity I'm getting at that feeder with the animals. So I found some uses for the farm. If you think of some uses for the farm, Drop them in the comments below. Always looking for better ideas than I can think of. As always, we appreciate you watching, and we encourage you to comment, like, subscribe, and share. We'll be seeing you more.